Trilogy Evo is compatible with a range of accessories, including a roll stand, detachable battery, air inlet foam filter, USB connection, and wheelchair mount. For optimal performance, use only accessories intended for use with this device, such as the roll stand. The detachable battery can provide up to seven and a half hours of therapy, and when combined with the internal battery, can increase to 15 hours. To remove the detachable battery, open the access door, then lift the battery handle and gently pull it out of the battery bay. To view the percentage charge, press the button on the battery. To replace the battery, slide it into the bay until it clicks into place. The battery will charge automatically when connected to AC power. Whether stationary or mobile, protect Trilogy Evo from dirt and dust with a disposable air inlet foam filter. To remove the air inlet foam filter, pinch and pull. To insert, place the filter into the filter cover and position it securely behind the top and bottom restraints. Trilogy Evo offers several connection options for displaying and transferring data. First, we'll review the data display accessories. SPO2 and Entitle CO2. Insert the appropriate cable into the USB on either the patient or utility panels. You can see the SPO2 measurement in the monitored parameters pane and the pulse rate information in standby and various monitoring views. To check Entitle CO2 levels, insert the USB end of the cable into Trilogy Evo and attach the appropriate airway adapter on the other end. The adapters are available in adult pediatric and infant sizes. The recommended procedure is to calibrate the airway adapter prior to use. To do this, go to the Options menu, tap Calibration Setup, then CO2 Sensor Adapter 0, and follow the on-screen prompts. It may take up to two minutes for the end title CO2 data to display when it is first connected to the ventilator. After calibration, attach the airway adapter to the end of the patient's circuit. The USB port is also used with a USB stick for data downloads and software updates. This is accessible via options and then data transfer. For patient mobility, the device can be easily and securely attached to a wheelchair using the same attachment plate as the roll stand. These and other accessories make Trilogy Evo versatile and convenient for clinical use. Philips. Trilogy Evo has been designed with an easy-to-use touchscreen interface. In this video, we're going to demonstrate window navigation and some important functions including info help, battery information, monitoring views, and changing prescriptions. While in standby on the home window, you can view the entered prescriptions on the left-hand side. On the bottom right of the window, find Start Ventilation. The New Patient option is in the top right section. Next to the Home window is Settings, where you can enter Prescription and Alarm Settings. For more clarification on a setting while entering a prescription, press the question mark icon for Help. To close Help, press the X. Options, which contains Preferences and other choices, is next. You can change the menu access level between Full and Limited. Use Data Transfer for USB data downloads and software upgrades. Information provides device details such as current software. Calibration Setup contains O2 and CO2 sensor calibrations, among others. Below that option is Alarm and Event Log. In Prescription Preferences, you can delete or edit the prescription names and background images. In the top right corner, you can see the current prescription being used, or, in this case, standby. At the bottom of the window, you will find the time and an arrow with the menu for touchscreen lock. You can check the status of the batteries by pressing the battery icon. 
Note that while ventilating, the device displays an estimate of the time remaining in each battery. Since we are still in full access mode, the unlock icon is displayed. To start ventilation using the daytime prescription, be sure to have a circuit in place. Press Home, Daytime Prescription, and then tap Start Ventilation. If the circuit becomes disconnected during ventilation, you will see high priority indicators. In this instance, connect the circuit to resolve the alarm condition. To learn more about the alarm, tap the alarm list. Since the alarm has resolved, you can tap the alarm reset icon. There is also an alarm silence button to mute audible alarms for two minutes. A variety of monitoring views are available. Some offer more details than others, depending on whether you are in full or limited access. To change prescriptions, tap the current prescription in the top right corner and then choose the new one. Read and follow instructions in the dialog box. In this example, the circuits are different. They are both passive, but one has active humidification and the other does not. Follow the instructions to place ventilation in standby by pressing the on-off button on the front panel. Change the circuit. and select the appropriate prescription from the home window and press Start Ventilation. As you can see, we are now ventilating with the nighttime prescription. In order to see the customized window background, change the device to limited access by selecting Options, Device Options, and then Menu Access Level. Now select Limited and tap the check mark. Then return to the home window. To go to temporary full access, press and hold the digital clock and then the alarm silence button and keep holding them together for five seconds. A confirmation pop-up window will appear. Follow the instructions. Taking the time to become familiar with Trilogy Evo's functions can help you deliver quality, efficient clinical care and enhance patient comfort. Philips. Trilogy Evo ventilators deliver enhanced performance in both non-invasive and invasive ventilation. There are four types of circuits that are available. Passive, Active PAP, Active Flow, and Dual Limb with corresponding icons. We're going to review the setup of each one. The passive circuit consists of a bacterial filter, tubing, and exhalation port. Connect the bacterial filter and tubing to the inspiratory port on the side of the device. A leak device, also known as an exhalation port, is mandatory during invasive ventilation or when using a circuit with a non-vented mask. The passive circuit is now complete. The active PAP circuit consists of a bacterial filter, tubing, active exhalation valve, exhalation valve line, and the smaller proximal pressure line. Connect the bacterial filter and tubing to the inspiratory port. Now attach the proximal pressure line to the proximal pressure port, and the active exhalation valve line to the active exhalation valve connection. The active PAP circuit is now complete. The active flow circuit consists of a bacterial filter, tubing, active exhalation valve, exhalation valve line, proximal pressure line, flow sensor, and cable. Essentially, this is the active PAP circuit with an added flow sensor and cable. Connect the bacterial filter and tubing to the inspiratory port. Attach the proximal pressure line to its port and the active exhalation valve line to its connection. 
Now attach the flow sensor cable into the connector located towards the bottom of the device. Attach the appropriate flow sensor, either adult, pediatric, or infant, to the cable and clip shut. Then attach the flow sensor to the active exhalation valve on the circuit. The active flow circuit is now complete. The dual limb circuit has a blue inspiratory limb, a clear or white expiratory limb, two bacterial filters, a proximal pressure line, flow sensor with cable, and dual limb active exhalation valve, referred to as the AEV. Connect the bacterial filter and blue colored limb to the inspiratory port. Then attach the proximal pressure line to the proximal pressure port. Now insert the dual limb AEV into the exhalation valve connection until both sides click into place. Then attach the bacterial filter end of the clear or white limb into the AEV. Attach the flow sensor cable into the connector. Next, attach the appropriate flow sensor, adult, pediatric, or infant, to the cable and clip shut. To complete the circuit, attach the flow sensor to the Y-shaped connector. The dual limb circuit is now complete. Philips. Let's go through the easy setup of a new patient on Trilogy Evo. Begin by turning on the device. From the home window, tap New Patient. This clears all pre-existing patient data. Choose your preferred prescription name from the table and tap Accept. Read and acknowledge the statement. If the appropriate patient circuit is attached and you want to ventilate with the pre-programmed settings, you can begin therapy by selecting Start Ventilation. If you need to edit the prescription before initiating ventilation, tap the Settings icon. In the Settings window, you can view and edit all the prescription and alarm settings. As you can see, Circuit is highlighted in blue, and Setting options appear at the bottom of the window. Verify the circuit type, size, and humidification settings. Next, tap Mode and choose the desired ventilation option. In this example, we'll select ACPC mode, which stands for Assist Control Pressure Control, with AVAPS on. Note the AVAPS on-off option beside the modes. AVAPS is available in the ST, PSV, and ACPC modes. Now we'll edit some of the prescription settings. Tap Pressure Control Min Max and use either the slider bar or plus and minus controls to adjust the setting. Once a parameter has been edited, a change indicator will appear in any altered setting box. To save the changes, tap Accept. Let's move on to Alarms. To set the alarms, tap the Alarm icon to view and edit applicable alarms. In this example, we're setting the circuit disconnect and low minute ventilation alarm. As with the prescription settings, tap Accept for the alarm changes to save. Some patients have multiple prescriptions and Trilogy Evo is able to store up to five. You can add additional prescriptions from the prescription drop-down menu here in the settings window, or go to the home window when in standby and tap Add Prescription. Follow the on-screen prompts to choose a prescription name, such as Nighttime, and use Settings to edit them. For this example, we'll make the same changes as before, but we'll turn Active Humidification on. When all necessary edits have been made, accepted, and the circuit attached, you then have two options to start therapy. While still in Settings, you can select the desired prescription from the drop-down menu and tap Start Ventilation. Alternately, you can go to the home window and select the desired prescription on the left-hand side and then tap Start Ventilation. Philips.